that I would like to deal with a little bit in terms of the structures, the internal structures of the bargaining council. I think this will be helpful for industry to understand what the bargaining council is and specifically what our role is. Firstly, we must remember that the bargaining council consists of half employers and half employees. Our main structure and our main decision making body is what we call our council board. On the board we have nine employers and nine employees representing the industry on the bargaining council. At this point in time the trade union is in the chair position and the employer association occupies the vice chair position. This changes every second year. All of these committees and our structures are governed in terms of the bargaining council constitution. Then we have what we call a national executive committee, which is a smaller committee, again half employers, half employees, and they assist the board and the council in terms of those things that happen in between board meetings, uh, looking at ensuring that the instructions, decisions, policies that are agreed to by the board are being uh, enforced and carried out by the council. Then we have uh, what we call an audit committee where the functions of the audit committee is currently under discussion in terms of what its full scope is but in main it's to assist the council and to have an overview in terms of finances and certain operational issues uh, in terms of policies. Also looking at education because the industry is concerned the industry is involved with educational matters we have an educational committee which consists of industry experts and here we engage with the stakeholders in the industry and they participate within this committee for instance the services CETA um, the professional body staff within the beauty industry and many other organizations that sort of deals with um, the overall uh, committees within the council and a very specific committee, the last one, is the one that deals with the sick pay and sick benefit fund and that we call the National Sick Funds Management Committee. Again, half employers, half employees, they are there to make sure that the sick funds are run and um, administered by the council in a proper manner and in terms of the rules of the sick pay fund and the two sick pay benefit funds in both Natal and KZN. In the next video I would like to deal with the council's internal structures as an organization for instance our administration department, our case management department, finance department etc. also to uh, provide a clear picture to the industry exactly of how the council operates and the functions that we are involved in. Thank you.